Holy packs. All right, guys, this is part two of the pack battle. So you guys caught part one at Wax Packs, where we are opening up 86 tops and having a pack battle with Wax Packs and Poly Packs, trying to see who can get the best card out of this whole, well, out of these <laughs> packs here. And so far, out of round one, I was able to pull two Rod Carews and a Dale Murphy. And I've yeah. got a Steve Carlton. Right. Hey, that Dale Murphy, can you just pull up his stats on the back real quick? I think this is coming off of like, we're heading into like an MVP season for him or something like that, if I recall correctly. Well, he certainly had, I mean, if you look at RBIs, he was league leader in RBIs there towards the tail end. And even home runs, I didn't realize 36, 37, he, 36. He was the premier slugger. And here's wow. the thing, he, his numbers were dwarfed by the late 80s, early 90s steroid users. Yeah. But he didn't. And so that's why I think he doesn't get the due he's, he deserves. I think he should be a Hall of Famer. He also gave back to the community in a major way. He's actually a Mormon. Oh, is he? It's worth noting. I don't know why. No, but, I don't think um, good for him. But, uh, yeah, so he, he was, like, the example of what a baseball player should be, giving back to the community, doing great, and then, for some reason, snubbed. Well, he definitely doesn't have the build of a steroid guy. That's for <laughs> he sure, does right? He's, so maybe he's legit. So right now, uh, what we said, so just to go over some of the ground rules again, right? So we're just trying to do a pack battle, seeing who pulls the best card. We're looking at top PSA values to determine, you know, who may get the best card right now. It'll be like either Nolan Ryan or Ryan Sandberg, something like that. But then we also have a favorite player of ours. Each of us have a favorite player. So Ben pulls Sean Donston. He gets the automatic victory. If I pull Don Mattingly, I get the automatic victory. Um, so what we'll do is... We each have two more packs to open. We're hoping for a little bit more star power than what we've gotten so far. <laughs> and uh, and what's up for grabs the winner. is the sexy Bo Jackson here. I'm going to go ahead and call it a gem mint 10. <laughs> yes. as, uh, according to the, the BSA uh, scoring, which is Ben's scoring That's agency. True. You can you can start your own, right? Yeah. And you you know you don't have to wait four years to get it back. <laughs> and you can... All right, so let's jump into these last four packs. Ben, since you are the guest here, I will let you continue opening first. Okay, I'm visual. I know exactly what the Sean Dunstan card looks like. I'm visualizing it right now, so that it's gonna be in this pack. I'm using your, okay? your juju powers. It's, it's like the Babe Ruth calling his shot <laughs> right now. It's gonna be in this pack. This will be it. If you, if you hit it, I know I got a John Franco. I know I got some stuck gum to the back of this Ray Sirag. 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 There it is. There it is. Oh, that gum is Oh, that, that gum crispy. Yeah, that's a good one. You're getting gum dust all over this. <laughs> Just like that. All right, so this is me winning the Spring Favorite Baseball. Rance Mullenix. So again, I, I, last time I mentioned this book called The Wax Pack, and he goes and looks, talks to everybody. Rance Mullenix was in the book. Oh, really? I had such a more, more respect for Rance Mullenix. What was that? Um, coming out of this because he just seems like a good guy. Usually you see Rance Mullenix with these horrible Dwight Schrute glasses. But for them, some uh, reason, in this uh, version, you don't see it. So they got, them, they got them off. off Scott, Scott Sanderson of the Cubs. Harry Spillman, everybody's favorite Astro, or not. Uh, Gary Pettis. He's got a nice wad of chew in there. Nice. He's got a son who plays football right now. Oh, does he? Yeah, in the, in the NFL. Uh, Lee Mazzilli. Or we could uh, give him the Spanish name. Mazzi. <laughs> I, think, I, I don't know. I think he's more Italian, right? Yeah, probably. <laughs> he's from New York. Well, of course. Alvin Davis. Ooh, nearly his rookie card. That would have been a gem. That, or not. That could have been, hey, that could battle with what we've There's, gotten so far. Race, you want to say his name? I don't. I'm not even going to okay. try it. Tim Wallach. Oh, there you go. He went on to play for years and years. Mike Pagli. Palirulo. 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 The Yankees, there you go. Julio Cruz, can you believe they wore those hats? It, it just seems odd to me. And every time I see the the expos, I'm like, is that a clown suit or the, like the <laughs> blue expo suit? Quintessential '80s outfit. Bob Lillis, Bill Schroeder. Again, are they not wearing helmets for catchers at back then? But look at it; it was just a face mask. Yeah, literally. Yeah. Gary Gaetti. Wow, he he's looking a little funny in that picture. I got to be honest with you. He did go on to have a pretty good career, but look, led the league in games. I never understood how you lead the game yeah, from 162. How many people led the league? You're tied for with a lot of people. Yeah. 
Jay Howell, and John Franco. He was a good coach. Yeah, he for went on. A while. This is his second oh, year. Almost his rookie. Year. He went on to the Mets, right? Yeah, he went to the Mets. He, he's actually a sneaky good closer in the in the in the light of Dale Murphy too. Like talk about a guy who didn't get much respect. He he had like he averaged like thirty to forty saves a season. Well, he's missing his mustache here too, which is oh, you know that's where he that's before he got his powers. Yeah, his powers. All right. So my visualization didn't work. By the way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 I, I could be, I could be the winner. All right, get out of here. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. We got a nice Ryan Sandberg, and it looks pretty good. The that card looks be, maybe a little top solid. to bottom. Oh, that's right. They, that Cubs is pretty close. But all right. But that could be the game winner right there. Yeah, I don't even need to look at the Tom rest of these. Well, I'm going to pull a Nolan Ryan. Then. How about the, or I mean, my only hope is the Sean Dunstan, to be honest with you. Ooh, I jumped ahead. I, I'm jumping ahead too much. I'm seeing things I like, and I'm, I'm moving ahead. All right, these cards are stuck together, though. Somehow you have really done a lot better than me, though. Out of every, I mean, like, I won't, the Steve Carlton is really the only thing of any interest <laughs> that I pulled. See, I told you, I, I looked at these before. <laughs> you marked them as you chose. Alejandro Sanchez, Mike Fitzgerald, Bobby Meacham, Raphael Santana. Ooh. Long time. There's a Tom Seaver turn know, back the clock. I didn't know they had the turn back the clock in this set. Yeah, they, they, I think they have like Rod Carew in here. I think they got uh, um, who was it? Gil Hodges. I knew they had an '87 and '88, but I didn't realize they had them in '86. All right, we got Roy Oster and Sammy. Stewart. Sammy with that high leg kick, I like it. I thought it was going to be Dave Stewart. All right, I don't know who Sammy Stewart is. So, All I mean, right, let's just put this right up front of here. Yeah. Like, this is what we're chasing at this point. All that right. is, and so I do have one of those in my collection. Um, Pretty soon I'm going to be doing some videos showing my personal collection of cards with Sean Dunstan, Ryan Sandberg, Mark Grace, and Nolan Ryan. Nice. Um, all the other collections I put together, I give to other people and get rid of them. But those are the those are the four that I keep from my childhood, and I keep uh, adding to them. So, all right, we're down to the fourth quarter here. Let's see what we got. Let's see if I can give it some. All right, this is going to make it happen. Dun dun dun. I, well, I feel like you know, like. The, the pack gods like it better if you like rip it open like you're sick. Yeah. Let's just yeah, not was, care about it. Yeah, yeah. whoa. I feel like that Sorry. will appease the pack gods better. So you'll have to clean up the. Whoa! Well, I can win this trip. All right, Tom Waddle. Can someone tell him he's on a baseball <laughs> team because he looks a little lost? Like the water boy just like. The... There's oh, a Bobby oh. Meacham. We got doubles. I had a Bobby Meacham, so I see your Bobby Meacham and. Raise you a Bobby Meacham. Jerry Mumphrey. So you might get a Ryan Sandberg. Doug DeCensus. Dennis Lamp. Do you remember, did you ever get Beckett Baseball Card Monthly, the, the price guide when you were a kid? Oh, I, every once in a while I got one, yeah. Because they had a section in there where people would take cards and then like draw on them and then send them in as like jokes. Yeah. And like this, they'd like I've put a lamp on his head or something. Lamp shade or something. And for some reason, those things always stuck with me. There's one, Rich Yet, Y-E-T-T, -T, and somebody made it Rich Yeti and made it look like an abominable snowman. Oh, nice. For some reason, it always stuck with those cards. It always right? stuck with me. Oh, there's your... See, I think I'm you on the... Might I'm, I'm get, on the back half of yours, though. You, I think. But you might get a Ryan Sandberg here. We might have dual Sandbergs. Wow. Glenn Wilson is either a baseball player or a convoy trucker. <laughs> <laughs> so, so here we go. Gary Carter, Hall of Fame catcher. Nice. But again, one of those Hall of Famers where you're like, oh, he's yeah, in the Hall of Fame? Yeah, like, made it? Mm, okay. Well, he's a Hall of Famer, so I'm going to put him aside uh, since I'm trying to play catch up here. Wally Backman. Yvonne Calderon. Rafael Ramirez. Ooh, Paul Molitor. Ooh, nice. And That's he, a good one. He's so good, he refuses to wear a hat, and he's got like a Batman utility belt on. <laughs> that is, is what it looks thick, like. That is and, a thick belt. I've never seen this card before. His first Tops card was, I mean, what? I guess that's... Who wrote these is what I want to know. like, hey, you need some facts. Ah, uh, this first top card. You know, and I'm going to put the call out there since I always say it on my channel. I'd love to say it on Polly Pack's channel. If you know anybody or were the person who chose photos for baseball <laughs> cards, I want to know who you are because I want to interview and you just find out. Some of these photos, you're like, why would someone do this? Oh, the best one is Ken Griffey, uh, 1991 Fleer, when he pops out and he's mad. And they put that <laughs> and like, that's the, the like, one. Yeah, He's the premier go. player in the game right now, but that's yeah. the one we're putting on there. Look disgruntled. Well, Paul Molitor, I want to put that aside. Bill Allman and Vance Law going hard oh. in the first base in his clown suit for the Expos. Um, 
So I realized that after four packs and you've only done three, I lose. But you still should have your pack. But let's we'll see what happens. I'll have, I'll have a guest, I'll have a guest open my pack well, here, for me. Here's a question: If you pull a Sean Dunstan, then does that mean I win or does that mean you win? No, that means I win twice. And oh, you lose twice. That's <laughs> an extra loss. So we'll have we'll have a. My young son Jackson, open it up. All right, young man, pull out Sean Dunstan for me. See what you got. Gum stuck Keep, in the back. Yeah. Eat that multi like, gum. Really, really stuck. Yeah, let's just take that card out altogether. Okay. But it was a Lee Smith Hall of Famer, right there. But now with a lot of gum on it. Yeah, with a lot of gum on that Hall of Famer. He's a uh, Mr. Saves, that guy. What, oh, you didn't want to go. All right, he, he just, just, just wanted to open, open it. He didn't want to actually go through it. All right. So we got Tippy again. Uh, Rick Manning, not related to Peyton or Eli. I, uh, I assume. Or Archie. <laughs> yeah, I assume, right? Oh, he was born in Niagara Falls. Well, imagine if he was like Archie's brother. Yeah, he's just the leftover cousin. Mark Langston again. No. All right, so these are our guys we already got last time. We didn't time. get Bob Brenly, did we? No, we got Rick Mahler. Wait, wait, can you go back to Rick Mahler for a second here? What throwing mechanics is he working on? I there? think he's throwing to first base. Okay. Is what I think. All right. I, I'm just, that's the worst thing I've Rick, ever seen. I'm giving Rick the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> he uh, he did have a career 3.56 ERA, which by these days... He's doing something. He's doing, yeah, he's doing something. <laughs> and that's Gary, a beard Gary for Gary Maddox. Maddox. Look, Look at, at that. that. That's head to toe. It's, it's good. It's he, he had to like shave his eyes off uh, <laughs> so he could have some place to see. <laughs> Randy Hunt. See, he has a little... No, it's a hat, too. It's a hat. Yeah, it's a hat. So in 1985, no one's, no catchers yeah. are wearing... That's crazy to me. Back when Hojo. Men were men. Ho that's Howard Johnson, year, yeah. that's not even. He no. played for back in 82. So the he, Tigers. Is that sad? Yeah, yeah. the Tigers. I had no idea. Yeah, he played for a while. Wow. Then opened up a nice moose. series of restaurants. Moose Haas. He's like, I'm too cool for a hat, so I'll just... He, he doesn't look like a moose or a Haas. No, no. And Tom Brookins... And Garth. 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 Sweet. Garth. Iorg. Sweet. Garth. Some All great right. names. So let's let's recap our, our winnings here. So I'm going to go first since I lost. Uh, Paul Molitor, which is a good... He, he's a Hall of Famer, right? He should be if he's not. Uh, Gary Carter, Hall of Fame catcher. And Steve Carlton, Hall of Fame pitcher, which I think he's number either number two or three in strikeouts behind Nolan Ryan. And Goose Gossage, I thought, was the... Maybe not Goose Gossage. But in any case, he uh, broke the Walter Johnson's record right after... Right before um, Bill Ryan. Nice. Gotcha. All right. And we got double Rod Carews. Yep. Probably one of the last years that he was playing. Dale Murphy. Ben's uh, write-in pick for Hall of Fame. Yep. And then we got the Ryan Sammer, which I think this is the card that puts it over the top and gives us the victory. Because you take that one out. <laughs> I think I might have you beat. I, honestly, with the Paul Molitor and the Steve Carlton, I would, I would take that over... The Rod Carews. So this is the ceremonial. Paul, you've earned this Bo uh, Jackson. Uh, I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. This is going frame. I'm going to put this on the wall. Bo knows. Nice. Well, thanks for including me in this, in this, Paul. Hey, well, I hope you enjoyed it. Well, I enjoyed it. I know you enjoyed it. And I hope the folks at home watching enjoyed it. And I think we, uh, I think we should do this again. Maybe give you a chance to win back this card. All right. <laughs> so we should just write our name on the back every time we win yeah, it back and right. forth. Champion. We'll just have a <laughs> champion's list. All right, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you in the next one.